Three months ago, I got laid off from my full-time job. While this is probably the fifth time I've been laid off in my career, this time felt a little bit different. While I learned a lot from that job, I was burned out from the pace, from the stress, and from the constraints of a pandemic. This layoff has given me some time to really think about where I wanna go with my career as a graphic designer. And two big things came to mind. One is that I wanna start my own graphic design business. And the second is that I want this channel to be a part of that journey. So going forward, the channel will be Eric Vasquez Design. Whether you're new here, welcome. Or if you've been a subscriber for a while now, I want you to know exactly what you can expect from me and from the channel moving forward. When I started Teach Me To Design in 2016 or so, it was really more of an experiment and I didn't know really what I was doing. I knew that I was passionate about design and creativity and I wanted to share that with you all. Over time, the channel sort of became a collection of tips and tricks for Photoshop and Illustrator as well as in-depth tutorials, which I still love making. It was a great jumping off point and it really helped me to start some important relationships and create tutorials for sites like Design Cuts and even a few courses for Go Skills. The truth is that creating for Teach Me to Design has really made me a better designer. It helped me to learn how to explain my concepts and my creative thinking, and it helped me grow my confidence. I'm so thankful for every one of you that subscribed. As 2017 ended, I was focused on transitioning from a senior designer to an art director for Major League Baseball. It was challenging to balance my full-time job with YouTube, so I decided to focus on my career and dive deep into the world of entertainment, key art, and brand design. So where are we now? The past six years have been a little bit wild. From Major League Baseball, I moved to Sci-Fi and then to a and &E. I've done freelance work for Showtime, Discovery, and independent filmmakers, which has been awesome. I've learned a lot by working on photo shoots as well as international and domestic marketing campaigns. I've grown a lot and enjoyed the work, but the volume of the work, the timelines, and the pressures of the industry can be incredibly stressful. But because my nine to five kept me so busy, I couldn't really find time to create for YouTube. All I really had time for was work and working out. Always had this nagging question. Could I make it full time as a freelancer? Could I design a work life that I love? I've seen the freedom and the joy that a lot of my self-employed friends have, but I've been too nervous to try it. I think that's because having some stability at a large company has been helpful and it felt safe especially during a pandemic. But then a layoff came and it sucked. After the initial shock and panic, that same thought came back. Could I make it on my own? I'd be curious to know if you've ever felt that way before when something totally out of your control happens and it leaves you wondering why or how you're doing things a certain way. And now we're looking ahead. So what does all this mean for the future of the channel? And hopefully you're still with me and wanna connect here. I'll still be creating in-depth tutorials and they'll be centered around things like entertainment and brand. I also wanna invite you on this journey with me as I'm starting my design business. I'll be covering topics like how do we get freelance gigs, attract clients, and design balanced lives as graphic designers? How do we deal with burnout and stay connected to our creative selves while managing the demands of a business? And how do we make more money? Because life is expensive. So if you're interested in being an entertainment designer, I'll also share behind the scenes what it's like working in the industry. I'll also be showing you what it's like to be a graphic designer in a high cost of living city like New York. So while there will still be tutorials and teaching, there will also be some talking and some vlog style videos. My hope is that it can help us get to know each other. I hope that you'll stick with me on this ride. And if you're in a transition or a new phase in your creative journey, let me know in the comments. If you've gotten to the end of this video, and if you're interested in and seeing a tutorial in action, you'll want to check out this in-depth video where I show you how to create a suspenseful movie poster in Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching. Keep designing and we'll see you in the next one.